Activate full squint mode. Green style. Ain't she fabulous? There's a storm of brewing jacks. Back here now. Hey up Doug, you're right. So recently we made this self-build flat pack log cabin that we purchased from Wix. And this is all the wood that we have left over. There you go. And I'm gonna attempt to make a new garden gate with it. I'm hoping to use all these pieces. There you go. There's three of them which are 12 foot long. There's a few other shorter ones there. I'm hoping to make it six foot high, uh, which is the current size of the gate. So let's crack on and let's start making this new garden gate. That is the back of his current gate. Made it about 10 years ago when we moved in. Absolutely battered and bruised. Made it out of free timber that I found. <laughs> Don't ask where I got it from and I won't tell you. Uh, but yeah, not the best of joinery work, but it cost me absolutely nothing and it helped at the time to keep him my little Phoebe Foo inside the house without her escaping. There you go, that is it. Isn't she fabulous? So I'll give it a quick measure up. Right, so current height is 1650 and the width 1060. Right, so I'm going to do them all at 1820, the height, which is a little bit taller than the one we've got now, but it's only about 12 centimetres, 120 mil, something like that. That's the height we're going to go at. So I'm going to have to cut those down and off uh, and then make those a little bit longer. Right, so they're all cut to length. Now I've just worked out as to how many boards I'm gonna need, and I'm gonna need 10. And I've got eight there. So out of the bits I've got laid about, I'm gonna have to make two more panels. So I'm gonna stagger them somewhere in between there. So what I'm gonna do is make my frame out of some timber that I've got lying about. Uh, there you go, I think 4 by 2 or something like that. And I'm just gonna do it very basic, the frame. So. There we go, one like that, and then straight across, bump, a strengthener in it, there you go, let's do all that. There you go, so that's the frame I'm going to make out of those four betonks there. Uh, and then all the tongue and groove I've got outside is going to join together and screw them to it, like that, and then we'll have a little gate. Push that down. And that is super solid already. Perfect. Right, so that's all screwed together. There you go. What I'm thinking is if I get the boards, the tongue and groove boards, get them on this side, screw them all to it in position where they need to be the tongue and groove boards, flip it, put a brace in the other side, screw them two off cutty bits that I've had to bodge together. Whether or not it works like that, I don't know, but that's what I'm going to do anyway, so let's uh, give it a curly whirly and see what happens. Right, so all I'm going to do is screw the first one into position, then obviously it's tongue and groove, get the second one in, and screw that one in, so on and so forth, and fill it up. Right, there she is, she's done, she's screwed together. There are the sections that uh, I've had to add. In the middle, just there, don't really stand out too bad, but because it's tongue and groove, it's well steady. Look at that, I'm jumping on it. Not much movement at all in them. Now, the boards are, uh, I think, 28 mil thick, so they are pretty thick, decent boards anyway, so this gate is going to weigh a fucking ton. Oof! Back here now. And my strengthener, I'm going to be putting there. And as you've probably worked out by now, I am no joiner. Just a average DIYer. So I'm kind of winging this bit as to where I need to uh, cut it to make it fit inside there without looking dog's dinner. So what I'm thinking is trying not to move this piece of wood. Follow me line, straight edge there, straight edge there. Do the same on the other side and then hopefully when I cut it, I've not just wasted a piece of wood, so let's give it a go. Does that look right to you? And I'll do the same down at the bottom here. And then we'll cut them. 
My lids fell out my pencil. You are the funny man, you. There we go. Hold on. Fart in progress. And we'll follow that straight edge along the route. There we go. Right. That lad. Uh, that lad. Let's cut it and see if we fucked it or not. Ten four, rubber dick. It's a bit windy today, so I've had to activate full squint mode. I could have been a joiner, me. How oh, can it be? There you go. Look at that. Quite impressed with that. Not bad for a bumpkin. Screw that to it now, and then we'll be done. Right, so that is it as of today. I think I'm not going to do any more. I'm not going to screw fix because I've got to have my dinner and it's like nearly three o'clock and I'm absolutely starving. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry this on another day. So like I said, I'll have a change of clothes. Click just like that, I've got some different clothes on. Hey, oh, welcome back. So it is another day. I didn't carry on with the gate because there it is. And I'm just about to get it in situ, get it stuck on the wall and get it using as a proper gate. So there's the furniture I've got. There's been screw fix. They were 18 quid for the uh, hinges. Uh, got some screws that I'm going to also be using for the walls. A uh, couple of bolts to go through top bits there. And a catch, and there you go, that catch for like £4.50, so 25 quid, got everything I needed. So let's get it in place, I'm going to go now and get the old gate off. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to do is whip this post off, there you go. I'm going to use that as a template because I'm hoping to use the same uh, holes and bolts as what's already in, but there's a star in my brewing jack. Let's get them out. Come on. Oh my god, it's raining, can't believe it, it's unbelievable this weather. Right, set the post out, here we go, so I'm going to cut that down, make another post, use the holes. After another half an hour torrential downpour, managed to get the gate outside, got the post on, using the existing bolts. Uh, into the wall and the holes. The only one I didn't manage to get in with the top one. A few issues with that, but I think that is going to hit bang on where the uh, hinge bracket's going to go, even though I've already pre drilled that hole. But we'll get around that later on. So there it is in situ without the hinges on. Looking fabulous, as you can see. So, the next thing to do is get the hinges on. Something along the lines of that. Ta -da! Couple of screws in there, couple of screws in the bottom one just to get them in just in place. Could have done with that post being a bit longer. Uh, but it's not. I'll tell you what, I've dropped these about a million times. They're the slipperiest things in the bloody world. So yeah, one of them under, under there, screw that on. Uh, and then after I've got them screwed on, that's when I'll put the bolts in. That's it, it's in. So if we can get this bottom one in now. Right, so it is on. Not sure if I'm completely happy with it at the minute. I think it needs a bit of tweaking here and there. But it's not too bad for a free gate. Get the bolt, washer on. I slide that through that way, washer on the other side, not on. So the bolts are in, what I will do is when I get around to painting it, I'll cut them off and what I will do, I'll go around and I'll spray all them black. Same with the faces of the uh, screws. So I'll black face everything up. I don't want to show that no more, son. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the uh, the latch on. Knock that into there. I took a bit of concrete off the end of that post, but shit happens, doesn't it? Then all I'm going to do, screw that to there, that bit. I'll attach to, to gate just there. I think that'll do, I say, you know, guys. 
Hey you guys, hey guys. Action shot, action shot. Happy fucking day. Right, so there we go. Catch done. See if it shots. Hey, yay! There you go. All free. Apart from injures. So it weren't all free, were it? Paid 25 quid for that. Well, he's a friggin' ton. It'll last forever. Just gonna cut that little noggin off the top of my post, and I thought to myself, what can I use? Shall I lose my hand? So then I thought, I lost the chainsaw. I'm gonna cut it off with it. <laughs> Not bad. Oops. Do you know what? I'm gonna leave that like that for security purposes. So if anybody tries to break in, they'll go, oh, I've got a splinter. I can't break in there. I've hurt me saying. I'm just gonna cut these uh, ends of these bolts off. So I'm gonna go full PPE and go into full squint mode. So I don't get nothing in my eyes. And I'm gonna cut them off. Not the brightest of ideas to be messing with electrical tools in the rain, but fuck it, if you're gonna go out, go out in style. It is finished, the gate, the free gate, apart from injures, is done. So, Bob Durante, Fanny's uncle. Uh, and that's it, free, all free, free, leftover pieces of wood, as you've probably seen from uh, me doing this video. I'm no joiner, DIY altogether, so you can do it too. If anybody can do it, you can do it, guys. All you got to do is put your mind and your body to it, and you can do it. Hey, that rhymed that, didn't it? Anyway, yeah, so uh, join me next time. I'll see you later. Ta-da.